subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, there it is. Red heart, you made it through. Purple hearts. <laughs> Purple, wait. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking me. Got my six, me and my back. Because I have yours. We are pulling from the yin and yang. We have regret. And we have the shadow side, dark night of the soul, a moon energy, unknown fear. Somebody is regretting and and actually looking and um do 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 whatever. I just finished listening to um what is it? He's mine. You may I had him once, but I got him all the time. So um I can't think. Milk and stuff is what it was. And if you know, you know. If you have a particular age or you heard your parents playing it. If they're of a particular age, well, that's what I just uh, listened to. I'm on Pandora, Jagged Edge Radio. But, um, yeah, I haven't listened to music and um, did the cards in a minute. Um, so, yeah. Oh, sorry. Bottom of the deck. There's an apology. So there's regret there. There's fears. There's somebody going through a dark night of the soul. They're realizing the attraction there. Uh, uh, the attraction is there. But, and yeah, they tried to control the situation. And... Now here it is, comfort zone and clinging. They're clinging to your energy. And so now what I'm going to do is pull Hard is On um, by Jagged Edge. Um, okay, what was I saying? Oh, sorry. The other wish for film is that, you know, they realize that the control tactics, and that now they're clinging to an energy, and they want you to fulfill them. So um, at some point, what you wish, you know, was not something that they wanted a part of. And so... They wanted to control the situation or control the narrative on how things would be. And so you had to uh, do what you had to do. And so that somebody is in huge regret. So that is what comes out in this energy. But I'm going to pull from the emotion deck. It says work affair running. Yeah. So they were running. Um, they want to apologize for being the runner in the situation. We have a fairy tale Okay, so your wishes, you know, the fulfillment, the wishes come true. That was a fairy tale to them, you know, or um, they were just some type of illusionist. It says firestorm, uh, drama, my way or the highway. Like I said, thug, they probably used to be in the streets and like things the way that they like them. And affairs, third party workplaces here, but it could be third party because, again, this is, they always get the things that they want, you know, um, somebody who, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who, who lives in the past and never really kind of grows up, they kind of get uh, that energy of always having their cake and eating it too. They become a trickster. They become real phony because they'll do anything for the love of money. Ego and pride, right? Got to make that money made. So, I mean, if you know, you know. That song is not on. Um, like I said, it's hard by Jagged Edge. But there is a regret. I'm going to pull from the... Um, mixed emotions deck to see what comes out because again this person is going through it uh when it comes to dealing with either you um which is you know cancer energy yeah exhausted um so they're regretting and they're exhausted you know they're drained and yeah you you know it says empowered powerful capable and strong at some point they are always the one that's capable of doing things very powerful all people always rely on them or they always have this my way or highway energy, but they're tired of that. And so at some point they want to apologize to you because um, they had to go through this dark night of the soul and go and face their fears in regards to how they did things in the past. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull tarot to clarify the regret. Sorry, all these cards are loud um, to pull from the regret, regret, shadow side, um, attraction. Um, this song says it's so hard. It's so hard. I really. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know what it is, but let me see if I can listen to the song. I mean, read the lyrics. Yeah, I can't. But oh yeah, here we go. Lyrics. They're down here. I'll read it to you. Uh, it says, um, "Every single night I've been without you, girl. It's so hard. Got to take a, a flight south because I know uh, that I was too hard. So yeah." That is, it's so hard. So they're they're in regret because they were, you know, they're living without you and it's hard. But even though they were that strong energy, now they're exhausted. So let's clarify exhausted. Yeah, they're exhausted because of the way that, yeah, two of coins energy. Yeah, they have to make a decision. So the balancing act, 
the way that they did things, you know, um, Trey Songs is on now. Let me see. Um, holla if you, if you need me. So, yeah, they, they had to make a decision. They adapted to this my way or highway energy because of the past energies that they used to have their cake and eat it too until they came to you and you showed them a different way so the moon dark night of the soul or shadow side they had to really face their shadow side ace of coins energy so we have coin energy out here we have the ace of coins we have the two of coins so it could be a year that they had to go through this and they want new beginnings uh two years of trying to make a decision of what to do could be financial could be, but this right here is mentally um situation so two plus one is three each pinnacle is equivalent to a year so it says new beginnings here and offer so they want to make you an offer because of the dark night of the soul that they went through um you know it is them realizing why you made them feel so empowered and why running uh is why they want to apologize so we have the attraction they attracted to you but at some point king of cups emotionally immature so they were immature so uh they looked at it okay that was just the attraction seven of swords energy is straight straightening the record so they want to straighten the record of you know um why they were the way that they were but five of coins uh again more coins energy out here and what i was trying to say is pinnacles energy which is virgo taurus capricorn earth energy um, it says rejection, turmoil, alienated, harsh conditions, financial ruins, change, breakup. So they want to kind of real. They want to kind of tell you why uh, they were so emotionally immature. They're gonna go back to this or that, or you know, maybe they won't. Maybe they just want to start over, which is why the Ace of uh, Pentacles comes out this way. But the fulfillment energies, which is fulfilled, that like I said, they used to snap in their fingers and things happen for them. The autumn. Um, autumnal autumnal equinox prepare for change and that is the wishes come true it says timing a few months make long-term plans express gratitude and harvest and fall so they're going to express their gratitude for you and that's going to be one of your wishes that is going to come true but they have to fulfill their own things too the control tactics are here and so with the control tactics they had to realize that they couldn't control you so wherever you are in this situation eight of cups which is why you walked away, not laughing at you, but laughing with you because you knew why you walked away. This is in the reverse. It says dishonest with self and others. So this facade, which is the illusion, it said trickster illusion here, this facade that they were living, you knew and you saw right through it. And that's the reason why you were just like, you deserve so much more, but they kept you in limbo in the same energy. And so it says fake happiness. So all the stuff that they were doing uh, to try to control this situation is was fake you know it was fake and so they had to get out of their comfort zone and really face the facts because you walked away and uh they had to really reflect on what it is and uh now again they want to apologize we're clarifying comfort zone here clinging comfort zone um okay so um six of wands energy comes in the upright which it says congratulations victory so they got out of their they got out of their comfort zone this is growth that's a good thing um, pride of a uh, pride of achievement, success, recognition, uh, confidence boost, and a milestone. So they got out of out of their comfort zone, and you were like, "Oh wow!" Or did you? And then the three of swords energy is in the reverse, overcoming sorrow. So reconciliation, letting go, healing, release, forgiveness, and feeling hopeful and optimistic and recovery. So whatever it is, they had to get out of their comfort zone, and now the universe is saying, "Congratulations!" Now. It's time for you to move forward because this fake energy was not something that you should do. But it says lunar eclipse. So deep emotional cleanse. So there was just a, was that a lunar eclipse? No, that was a, that was a, that wasn't a lunar eclipse. Or was it? It was just an eclipse. I don't know what it was. But um, anyway, um, it says about three months, subconscious revealed. R. Kelly says, you remind me of something. Uh, you know, you remind me of my Jeep. Anyway, about three months, some con subconscious reveal, new emotional cycles, seeing clearly and divine aid and then ending. So again, they feel empowered. Oh God, I'm so sorry. They feel empowered. The, the, the earth is here. So this is the earth. They feel empowered. There's an eclipse that has to, you know, the moon and the sun have to shadow. So it, you know, darkens the earth. So maybe that's something that they had to go through. So I'm going to pull from this card deck. I can't think of what it's called. 
But uh, hold on, let me turn around and look at the deck because I have the box behind me. It's the Cozy Witch deck. Um, and see what comes out for your energy. Um, again, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. The roles could be reversed. This could be your energy. That could be their energy. Um, we have the Hierophant energy. Yep, unlearning to relearn. Um, we have the Queen of Cups, your energy, empathetic energy. Um, and I'll read the cards to you in a minute uh, when it comes out. But I mean, when I finish shuffling, I'm only going to do like four cards. But yeah, you you had to look at things. Okay, I always say four cards, but maybe this is the four cards plus these. Um, bottom of the deck is Hermit. Yep, you had to go soul searching. And that's the reason why they had to reflect as well. They had to do soul searching. And that's where the shadow side, dark night of the soul, and uh, getting out of their uh, comfort zone and stop trying to control things. It says the Hermit energy. Let me see if I can read it through here. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, it says there are some things that must be done on your own. And so that's the reason why you had to get out of your own way, learn something, do something, move forward, move something, move something. <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyway, the higher for energy, tradition is important, but it doesn't have to be everything. Tradition is important, but it doesn't have to be everything. So, again, you had to unlearn to relearn, and that's what the Hierophant energy is. It's like you basically going after and saying, you know what, the past thing that I did didn't work, and so now I have to focus on myself. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. And, you know, as much as you didn't want to do that or as much as you want to try to um, deny it or fight it, the Queen of Cups energy is here, and it says... Um, Honoring your emotions is one of the highest form of self-care. So you had to take care of yourself. Empathetic nature, yes, but you had to take care of yourself. And sometimes taking care of yourself is basically you understanding that, you know what, I have to walk away from the things that no longer serve me and move forward. And so that's kind of how I see that energy uh, when it comes to the Queen of Cups and the Hierophant being here. And then we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, with confidence. You had to do this with confidence. So it says, replace your self-doubt with self-confidence. So again, you had to learn, to learn to love yourself. And you had to know that whether this is something that this person is used to doing, you have to do what you need to do for yourself. Ten of Swords energy, yeah. So the Ten of Swords is hurt people, hurt people, and hurt witches, hurt witches. So you're not going to be that part of somebody that's going to hurt you. Um, or hurt this person because they're doing you wrong. So the four of wands energy is just basically says, well, okay. So the four of wands, just to, just to clarify what it is, the four of wands is like um, loving the people that are around you. That's that complete you and don't come and don't deplete you if that makes sense. And so when it comes to family is whoever makes you feel the most safe and comfortable. That's what you went out and did is found people who complete you and not deplete you. And so it's easier said than done, but at some point, you have to realize that, you know, when it comes to the Eight of Pentacles energy, you have to do the work for yourself. And it says, sorry, but fa fairies aren't going going to come do all the work for you. So, you know, the fairy tales is that, again, with the um, fulfillment and wishes here, this is the genie's bottle. And then it says fairy tales. So you guys both had to do the work because, again, this playing the games and stuff like that is a fairy tale. You actually waiting for your wishes to come true um, and waiting for the genie in the bottle to come is a fairy tale. And you doing the work has to actually, you planting the seed, but also working on yourself um, and being able to complete and to love yourself. Nobody's going to come do that for you. You have, have to do that for yourself. And so that's kind of how I see that energy. And yeah, so that is, it said that, Autumn, e autumnal equinox and it said within a few months but then again we have the uh, lunar eclipse so if there's a lunar eclipse coming up or if that was a lunar eclipse in the past somebody is having an awakening uh, an aha moment and you just have to be the one to say um, whether you want to deal with this or not so that's kind of how I see that energy um, I'll pull I'm going to pull from what's the tea to see what comes out so what's the tea? What's going to happen after this person decides to come back around? Um, yeah, hold on. Let's see. 
let's see what, what, what this person decides to do, what information comes out or what, what comes out in the cards, the card that comes out, love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming and nostalgic. So impersonator. Yep. Fake. Again, this person wants to be like you, uh, acts like, and it says dresses like, looks like, and copies you. So this person probably tried to find somebody who was like you. So here's a good situation. We have Kanye West and his new wife. She looks like Kim. There's undoubtedly uh, a similarity of Kim. But guess what? She will bark like a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Arf, arf, arf. A big dog. Woof, woof. Remember coming to America. So that's the difference between the old Kim. And she probably did certain things, but there were limits. And how this girl is walking around the parks and different places this way, that way. That's something that they envisualize you doing, but it's too easy for them. So at some point they're going to get bored and want to try to do something or the ego will, will um, become too big to where they're just, uh, you know, the yes men and the people that are um, not going to tell the truth about, you know, what's really happening or why this person is doing what they're doing is going to, continue to to do this until this person gets fed up and realize it's time for me to apologize because I've been running from this and trying to find you and somebody else and now that I've went through this healing part I want to um talk to you I want to be friends I want I want a lot more with you but I know I have to take it slow if that makes sense and so this is a twin flame soulmate and karmic partner deck um, I'm going to pull from here and see what comes out. But yeah, you just have to continue to do you. See, sorry again. More than sorry comes out. Bottom of the deck is runner. Runner twice. So let's read this this time. Um, so there was nothing on that card. But it says your love interest doesn't want to be involved for whatever reason. Don't mistake. Um, don't mistake their running for a twin flame connection and try to force it. So again, there's nothing you can do to force this situation. Again, you got to let people learn on their own time. And it says passing soulmate, passing soulmate says sometimes some soulmates don't last forever. However, they will, t they will teach you and leave you forever change. Don't try to hold on to them. Uh, once it's over so some people this is for some some people it's not for some people may go back some people may try it over some people may know at the bottom of their heart that this is not for them and that they escape this and you know some people just won't so it's totally up to you a gift is going to come towards you it says expect a gift or romantic date night invitation your time has come to enjoy a beautiful union filled with love and romantic gestures. So if this is the case, this could be for you or it could be somebody. So the way the universe works is that it will send your your uh, divine partner or it's like kind, somebody who's equivalent to the what you really need in life. And so we have cheating heart. If you were cheated on, it's likely negative emotions are running high. You must honestly ask yourself if it's worth saving or just to walk away. So that is what some people just have to realize that you have to walk away from things that no longer serve you. And sometimes people don't grow and sometimes they do. A secret detective, it says, if one of you, you is snooping, you need to ask yourself why you don't trust them or vice versa. If the trust is gone, how can you cultivate a healthy relationship? So again, that's where the workplace affair is, could be. They get up and go to work with this person every day. You have to determine what it is for you. And so the manifesting thing, it says practice the law of attraction and become aware of your thoughts because you're interacting with a conscious universe. So again, um, if this is what you want, send strength and healing and maybe they'll come back to you healed and going through and want to talk uh, and apologize or you might meet your equivalent the person who is yours by divine right so that might be the gift that the universe is giving to you and then we have i'm sorry uh, it says forgiveness it says your twin either wants to apologize or it's time that you release the past and forgive them for what they've done um this will help you heal from the past so again this is basically what is over here but it comes in this energy so you have to decide what it is that you want to do out of a situation this light is so weird you have to decide to 
uh, what you want to do out of a situation and go from there. Nobody can tell you what's right or wrong. Only you can uh, determine what it is for yourself. So I'm pulling from the four agreements. What it's like is on. Let's read. Let me read the lyrics to you. That's my what it's like to be in love. Every day I age. I just want my life to change. I've I've done being around. I done been been around. Put my childish things, um, like my attitude. Hold on. I'm trying to like oh uh, like my attitude. Uh, where is that? Do, 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 do. Like my attitude. It's been. It ain't been good. Uh, to be so rude. I want to be in love. It's the right thing. It's my right to right to. And it says, and every year I seem to make some really bad mistakes and I'm ready now. I don't want to be this way. I'm finding out what love is all about, what it's all about. Yeah. I want to be in love. What it's like to be in love. That's all I've been thinking of. So again, I kind of fumbled the words, but you guys, if I was singing it, you know, I would know it, but I don't want to sing and mess your ears up. So this card is turned over too. So I'll take this one, but, uh, two cards, um, don't make assumptions. And then we have be impeccable with your word. So discern the truth. It says, don't make assumptions. The problem with making assumptions is that we believe they are the truth. We make the assumptions. We misunderstand. We take it personally. Then we react by sending emotional poison with our word. This creates a whole big drama for nothing. And so there you have it. You have to be able to you really think about what it is. So are you expecting them to just get up and change? Are you looking at things? Were you looking for things? Were they doing things? Um, do you just have love on the brain and want your cake and eat it too? Do they want their cake and eat it too? Are they, have they really changed? Don't overthink it. You have to see for yourself. And so I can't tell you to stay away. No one can tell you that. You have to know what that's what you want to do. And then we have be impeccable with your words. Enjoy heaven on earth. It says impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance. You can attain the freedom of heaven from this one agreement. Be impeccable with your word. So say what you want, mean what you say. If you guys want to know my interpretation of the four agreements and the um, chakras, then click the links up above. And this is the crystal deck for the chakras. Um, we have the amber and the orange calcite. Trey Songs is on. I think it's time. Jupiter Love. Tell me why. Okay, the solar plex amber. <laughs> sorry, I'm about to start singing amber, and you know I can't. Amber is the solar plex chakra. It's protecting, clearing, and healing. The orange calcite is the sacral and solar plex chakra. It's creativity, energy, and joy. So the amber says, I release my past and my future is healed. I mean, this to somebody has to know that. I release my past and the future is healed, meaning that live in the present moment and release the past. The past causes fear and the future causes anxiety. So if you, as long as you know that your future is bright and you got to wear shades, you cannot dwell on what's going to happen in the future. You can't change it. Right now, only thing you can do is live in the now. The orange calcite is I am filled with creative and constructive energy i am filled with creative and constructive energy so there you go let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys